Mm. My cat's being cut off. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Lukas Gatchewski. I'm from uh, Wikimedia Poland, and this is going to be a very emotional and kind of difficult uh, talk for me. Um, but my hope is that will be beneficial to you and your organizations. Do you hear me okay? I get a nod from Prado or something or somebody. Yes, okay, good. So um, there's this uh, very intelligent guy, Conway, Melvin Conway, who said, um, something's not showing up here. Uh, sorry about that, Grace. I need to reshare the screen. going to do this in a less elegant way. Okay. No, you're not going to see me, but you'll see the entire text, I hope. There we go. Okay. Um, so this guy named Conway um, developed something called the Conway's Law, and it says that any organization that designs a system will or has to, um, by definition, produce a system or a design that is a copy of the organization's communication structure. So the internal way an organization is structured impacts and influences anything that it produces. What I want to convince you of today is that um, the, re the reverse is also true. So my way, my, my version of that is any organization formed by a group of people using a particular tool will tend to work like that tool works, will tend to mimic that tool. So who am I? I am a ex-Polish Wikipedia admin and bureaucrat. I am, uh, a, I say I am a retired Wikipedian. Uh, I am a founding member and first president of Wikimedia Poland, a founding member of WMF's chapters committee, the precursor to today's AFCOM. And I am Wikimedia Poland's uh, chief operating officer since 2019. So that is a role like an executive director, like an ED. Um, in Poland, we had this saying during communist times, kontrola podstawą zaufania which means control is the basis of trust. And I have never seen an environment where this is more true than Wikimedia. Uh, how did we end up with this trustless approach with this zero trust environment? Well, in Wikipedia, everything is public. And so that's why we can trust it, right? We all know this. Um, you can trust um, the article because you can look in the history and authors tab and um, uh, go through all the changes. If you spot something suspicious, you can delete it. It's public, so we can trust it. There's an asterisk um, next to the everything here, which I'll talk uh, about later if we have time. And so because Wikipedia works like that, and it works, um, then in order for a Wikimedia organization, so cha a chapter on a, or an affiliate, to be trusted, also the same should be true, right? Everything needs to be public. Um, therefore, in order for an, a Wikimedia organization to be trusted, everybody needs to have a chance and opportunity to participate in decision making, right? That's an assumption. Uh, in order for a Wikipedia, Wikimedia organization to be trusted, it needs to work like Wikipedia works, right? No, <laughs> this is absurd. This is even worse. This is flawed reasoning. Uh, a Wikimedia nonprofit organization is not a decentralized, global, massively distributed system of knowledge production and curation on the internet. That's Wikipedia. That is not a Wikimedia nonprofit organization. Two different things. 
what a nonprofit organization within the Wikimedia movement is, it is an employer. And so I cannot understand why somebody in our organization uh, had the idea to tell me that when we recruit new people as staff, we should, public, we should make public the job interviews. That's insane. A Wikimedia nonprofit organization is an event organizer. An event organizer organizes the event, and then you come to the event and you have fun or you do important work. And so I cannot understand how uh, a member of my organization could have inserted themselves and said, this is the food we should have. Exactly this dish. A Wikipedia or nonprofit organization is a vehicle to achieve a mission. And the mission is not to make Wikipedians happy. That's just one, one way we can try to achieve the mission. But the mission is free knowledge, not the happiness of the community. All of us, including everybody in this room, have for the last 20 years trained the Wikimedia movement as a whole, and especially the chapters and the Wikimedia Foundation, to have a strong bias for inaction. Inaction means not acting. Because it's safer. One minute, One minute left. Uh, how? Because we keep exercising veto power and uh, vetoing everything because you're afraid of change is not participatory decision making. And so Wikimedia has become an environment in, in which experimentation is frowned upon, exercising authority is seen as outrageous, and every de decision makes forever, change is vetoed, and mistakes are not allowed. But everybody needs to follow the rules, right? Which rules? The rules that we <laughs> made up as we went? Because that's how they came to be, right? Are we even sure that these rules are, are the best way to bring free knowledge to every person on the planet? I am not. And I don't think we should follow them religiously. So where are we? Uh, we have a large pile of money. We have the trust of the world, but we don't trust ourselves. We are used by millions, but created by very few. And we have an aging website and every attempt to make it modern is resisted. We have developers and designers who are afraid to do their job because they will be yelled at. And we have features that are in beta for a year on some minor language wiki because we are still gathering data. What does that mean? That means we are still afraid of change. Uh, and we have a, nation, a network of organizations which could do much more, but are held back by their conservative members. Uh, and this is a repeat, sorry. So what do we need? We need experts to guide us. We need the courage to try new things and we need to focus on the goal and not on the process. We need to change. We need to empower those who pursue change. And in order to empower those people, we need to trust them. Thank you. Thank you, Lukas. Thanks for the insightful presentation. Uh, then we're moving next to the second lightning talk. Uh, it's going to be titled Sea Spring in Ukraine, what we learned from improving Ukrainian Wikipedia's target article consists in 2021 by Anton Protsyuk. Uh, hey everyone, can you hear me? Yes, it's fine. Yeah, we can. Uh, okay, great, thank you. Uh, just a technical question, uh, how uh, many minutes exactly do I have for my talk? You have five minutes. Okay, thank you. From the start of your presentation not counting uh, the time that you need until you uh, share the screen and open the presentation. Okay, so then just a second to share my screen and... Uh... Uh, 
Uh, yes, so the topic of my uh, brief talk is uh, the setup of CE Spring in Ukraine, how we, how we have how we improved uh, this article contest, which is the largest one on Ukrainian Wikipedia in 2021, what we learned and what we hope to do next. Uh, since it's a brief lightning talk, it's um, only some uh, semi-random semi observation on my part. It, uh, it's not like a detailed analysis from the whole organizing team, but it's some insight I, so, uh, I thought would be interesting to share. Uh, so some context, uh, some context for CA Spring in Ukraine and Wikipedia in general. Uh, we have been holding CA Spring uh, since uh, 2015, I think. It's the largest uh, CA Spring edition across all Wikipedia language, language editions. And it's also the largest article contest in Ukraine and Wikipedia. In 2020, we had a record number of articles, more, more than uh, 3,600. And uh, we also engage sister wiki projects, Wikicode and Wikivoyage. Uh, and uh, CE Spring in Ukraine has a strong community, uh, up to 100 people, around 80, 90 people uh, take part each year, and uh, a lot of people participate every year. So, for example, in uh, last year, more than a half of active participants say, said that they had been planning to participate well in advance uh, in the contest. But also, it's a good opportunity to attract new people. Uh, CA Spring has a clear pitch writing about neighboring countries, neighboring communities, and it's a good way to attract new people to the Wikimedia community. Uh, so uh, here, uh, here is an example of how our, our award ceremony looked like before the pandemic. Uh, some of the challenges we have been facing, uh, just two example, the first one is how can we uh, how can how can we incentivize improving the quality of articles? There is a concern about the, among the community about the quality of articles created within the context within the context, uh, especially uh, translations from other languages, from Russian uh, in particular, which are uh, sometimes not uh, of the sufficient quality. And also, uh, especially last year, we had the challenge of handling the sheer number of articles. Uh, since we have a volunteer jury that uh, evaluates each article and uh, gives uh, points to each article, it was uh, hard to evaluate over uh, 3,000 articles. Uh, so uh, what we have been doing to change and uh, develop the contest in 2021, the first ch change was to shorten the contest time frame to uh, one month uh, from uh, over two months one, uh, from over two months in order to focus on the quality and uh, improve the uh, and uh, invest more resources in developing the quality of the contest uh, we one also minute. we also uh, i think i had two minutes according to my timer uh, we also made further a focus on quality by uh, providing main awards for, for best articles as opposed to general contributions and providing more points for originality and improving existing articles. Uh, we've been working to provide uh, feedback to participants, especially to new participants from our jury members and giving them time to fix the articles before the evaluation to also to improve the quality of articles. Uh, we have been building new partnerships, uh, especially uh, so, for example, we've, we've done special nominations with the Polish Institute and the Czech Center in Ukraine, which are the opportunities to promote the contest uh, among international audiences and also like specific audiences within Ukraine. Uh, and we also did an international pitch uh, and uh, invited people from uh, other countries to write about Ukraine, which is, which is uh, part of the contest anyway, but we made uh, the invested more resources in promoting this part and some of the tasks for the next year include developing improving our technical tools uh, especially the evaluation tool uh, the, um, also an important task is uh, engaging more volunteer organizers to uh, to help organize the contest because it uh, requires a lot of uh, work uh, further thinking about how we can further incentivize boosting the quality of articles 
as opposed to just the quantity of articles and also replicating this model with other regions of the world uh, because uh, in Ukrainian Wikipedia, uh, thanks to the six or seven years of the contest, Central and Eastern Europe is uh, relatively well covered as opposed to Africa or Latin America, for example. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anton, for your presentation. Uh, we're moving on next to uh, Herb Bekarian and uh, his lightning talk on the topic Hachaturian days on Wikipedia. Uh, as this is uh, a pre-recorded uh, presentation, I would like to invite her to play his video. Okay, thank you here for your presentation. Uh, now we're going to move on to uh, Farhad's lightning talk, uh, titled Wikimedia Language Diversity in No Tango Without Partners. As uh, Farhad is uh, currently interpreting uh, uh, this uh, session, uh, I'll be the one who is going to play the video. So I'll share my screen.
Hello there. Uh, you're watching this and recording because meanwhile I'm interpreting this and the other sessions of this conference into Russian for those who don't speak English as well. Let us uh, pull my slides and begin. Here you see the QR code uh, which allows you to pull up this on your smartphones uh, should you look at this closer as well as a wiki link you can share with others if you find it useful. Uh, the title communities I represent, uh, languages of Russia I mainly work with, and the knowledge of the world we are all thinking about. Uh, the language diversity is not the top priority um, of the society, and some reasons why you are not hearing much about this uh, as other things. Uh, some slide you show in Tatar, just showcasing that uh, despite the number of speakers or amount of content in the language, Google's and uh, Baidu's Yandex's of the world would not be showing uh, their, these reaches unless uh, you are the dominant language in that country. Uh, which adds on other existing uh, structures, economic, social, political, and other realities of the world, complicating the situation. And the message, we need to avoid overburdening the guardians that are preserving this uh, cultures, treasures of humanity for us, and we need to think about how to help them. But this is true about the media collaboration and others. Uh, not always, not everything, not in depth, but uh, those are wonderful ways to recognize and acknowledge the valuable contribution, the fact that we are proud of what they are doing. Every language community will have to build and maintain a whole set of these resources in their languages, but even more so continues incessantly growing them because without that, language would be losing its instrumental status. And this does require a significant amount of ongoing investment. And we have developed uh, the roadmap and we are our collaboration with this on top of our language. This is how it might look like uh, when we are successful. And that's because of Wikimedia vision and the Wikipedia purpose that we have. Uh, in Russia and with uh, the Tatar community, we do see significant support at various levels in uh, Grants Foundation, uh, TV, mass media, academia, etc. But this is not enough. Uh, and uh, even within the media movement, uh, the grants alone won't cut it. We need to be looking for new ways to address this. Uh, an example, I think Tolko will describe more tomorrow. Um, how we are trying to develop it locally. Uh, the message here is number one. Uh, editors, readers, all others are partners and they need to get value for interaction with us. And just to repeat the previous message. In Tatarstan, the realities I have seen, as well as the way I tried to play the path of Jimmy and the support of uh, those around Russia and internationally tried to support. Uh, what we achieved was uh, regional and municipal government, number of uh, key NGO sites moving to free licenses, us receiving continuous support, and even periodically funding to develop articles about topics uh, uh, of importance to us, sourcing, etc. Uh, plus, of course, uh, some passes to showcase this at the federal level, be it in remote type conferences or the hybrid ones with various uh, organizers. Our stakeholders are very proud with what Wikimedia does to help uh, preserve the language and cultural diversity. And of course, we do count on all of you to be keeping on raising this bar further and inspiring us all because the way is quite well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks, Farhad. That was Farhad's uh, lightning talk. And we have only one lightning talk uh, until the end. 
It's titled Wikimedia Czech Republic using video to, pro video to promote its events by Natalie Chebalova. I would like to invite Natalie to play your videos. Hi, uh, good evening everyone. I'm Natalia and I work, um, I take care of PR and uh, fundraising of Wikimedia Czech Republic. And now I'll start sharing the screen. I'm sorry, this might take a minute. I'm really sorry. I'm having some. I'm really sorry. I'm having some technical difficulties here, but uh, by now it should work, hopefully. All right. Um, can someone uh, say that you're actually seeing my screen? We're hearing you clearly, and we're seeing the screen. At least I am. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. So um, I'll just kick off by playing you one video. No, no, we were Vážení a milí domorodci bývalého Československa. Ústřední tiskový výbor Ministerstva informací ve spolupráci s úsekovým řízením publikační komise Ústředního výboru se jednohlasně shodl na podpoře soutěžní výzvy České Wikipedie s názvem Soutěž Československo 1948 až 1989 a vybízí tak všechny naše občany, aby se do výzvy zapojili. Podílejte se spolu se státní kriminální ústřednou na mapování československé socialistické historie prostřednictvím tvorby nových článků, přidávání fotografií nebo rozvíjením a rozpracovávání již existujících textů. Tak málo toho Česká Wikipedie zatím ví o osobnostech českého horizontu, státních organizacích, politických procesech nebo předmětech tehdejší běžné denní potřeby když polovina nebyla dostávna. Zkušení i začátečníci všichni spolu v jedné řadě. Vítězové obdrží knihy, vouchery a spoustu skvělých dalších věcných, věcných, věcných cen. Soutěž prodloužena do 15. ledna. Všem zúčastněným se se radostně pravicí a přejeme jim svorně bez rozdílu zdar. Okay, so this was uh, the first clip and I'd like to show you uh, one more and then I'll get to the outcomes. Alois Jirásek, Ben Kristoval, uh, Cyril, uh, David Ondříček, uh, Egon Erwin Kiš, Františka Plamínková, Gustav Husa, uh, uh, Honza Vyčíka, Chrudoš, uh, Ivan Troja, uh, Jeroným Praš, Kunhuta Uherská, Ludvík Vaců, Marek Ebe, Nikola Šuhaj, Loupeží, Oldřich Lipský, Petr Čej, Radka Třeštíková, Řehoř Zajíc z Valdeka, Svatý Václav. Věděli jste, že na české Wikipedii připadá na jednu biografii ženy až pět mužských? A dokonce 90% všech editorů Wikipedie jsou muži. 
pojďme to změnit. Přidejte se taky k iniciativě Wikigap 2021 a napište článek o významné ženě, která na Wikipedii chybí. Naše lektorky a lektoři vám s tím pomohou v rámci bezplatných online editatorů 8. a 20. března. Stačí si vybrat téma a přihlásit se. Všechny informace najdete na Facebooku a webu Wikimedia.cz. Maruško. OK, that was it. And then there is a pun at the end, but it wouldn't be understandable in English, I think. So um, what are the results? Actually, they're pretty good. Uh, it didn't cost us almost anything. We, we did like 20 euro uh, boost, like ad on Facebook. And uh, the presenter is part, uh, is part of our community. So he does all of that for us for free, which is amazing. As you can see on the graph uh, in December and March, we had the biggest peaks of uh, our Facebook page reach. Uh, in March, it was actually 1.3 thousand percent higher than usually, which is amazing. 60 people have shared the Wikigap video and we gained 100 new followers on, only from that, uh, which is half of the whole new um, follower base from last year. Why do that? Well, Facebook algorithm favors videos over other content. Engaging and fun content uh, that people share is uh, the easiest way to get new followers and it helps to connect with the public. That's it for me. Uh, you can reach out to me uh, on my email or Wikipedia page or however, however you wish. And on our Facebook and YouTube, uh, Wikimedia Česká Republika, you will find other uh, great content that we have. Uh, thanks a lot for your attention. That's it for me. Thank you, Natalie.